A mother and her young daughter are in the hospital this morning recovering from serious burns. The two face a long road to recovery after this massive fire tore through their apartment complex in Hampton. It happened early Friday morning. Angelique Aaron talks spoke with a family member. Debris and char are left behind at one of the apartment buildings at Township in Hampton Woods. Hampton fire officials say roughly 50 people can't stay here while two dozen units are unlivable. Among the people hurt in the fire, Shannon Perkins and her nine-year-old daughter, Nyree. Them, the phone, and the dog is what made it out. Perkins sister Angel Colton says they narrowly made it out. Flames from someone else's apartment unit spread quickly. From what I was told was like there was a firefighter like literally standing in the flames and just like grabbed them out of the door. Colton tells me 40% of Perkins' body is burned, including part of her face, her back, and from shoulder to ankle. Nairi has burns on half her face. Colton touches on the physical and emotional aspect to their long road to recovery. To realize that they lost everything. For a kid, I think it's even harder. For mom, it's going to be twice as hard. A GoFundMe page is garnering support for the mother-daughter duo. Support is also pouring in at Township's leasing office. That's where local mom Alicia Davis has stopped by multiple times to drop off items for the tenants displaced. I just can't imagine, so my heart really just aches for the tenants. Davis has donated things like school supplies and toiletries. Literally any and everything that someone can donate, please bring it in because this is something that can unfortunately happen to anybody. That was Angelique Aaron Talk reporting. The fire department says 10 other people also went to the hospital. Eight firefighters got treated for burns. Two other residents got treated for smoke inhalation. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, but fire officials tell us they do not suspect foul play.